Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen. This morning at 9am I uploaded a retouch video but for some reason the audio was not synced properly. One of my subscribers um, pointed that out to me but he deleted his comment right after. But um, yeah, so now I'm doing a new video and I am not you doing the one that I've done before. I noticed that over 119 people have already viewed that video but I um I rather have quality video up not just have a video up because I just want to have a video up I want to have quality video on my channel and if it's not synced properly I'm going to delete it and if something is not done properly in the video I'm going to delete it and do it over so today we're retouching this image let me go to f um, file info go to camera data all right, so this image was taken with the Sony A7 III, 85 millimeter autofocus Samyam, or otherwise known as Roken and Lens. I was shooting the exposure was one over 100. I was shooting at 1.4. ISO was 50. Yeah. So let's get right to the editing. The first thing I'm going to do is to crop the image. Now come over here to the crop tool. You can press C on your keyboard for the crop tool, and for the ratio, it's going to be 4 to 5, which is 8 by 10. All right. So I'm just going to pull this down. I've edited this image before. It's uploaded to my Instagram, so you can check that out. So the edit might be a little bit different, but yeah. So I'm going to crop it right there. Press enter and just zoom up on my image. Before I brighten the image or lighten the image, what I'm going to do is to come here to the frequency separation. You can go down to, you can check the description for the frequency separation action. You can download it from my website. I'm going to start with the frequency separation and the radius is going to be at 6.4. Then I'm going to go down here to where it says low frequency, well, low, which is the low frequency layer. And then I'm going to come over here to the mixer brush. I took my mixer brush out, so it's on the panel here. And it's M for the mixer brush from my, that's my shortcut. I went to edit and then I go down to keyboard shortcut and then I go to tools. And then I search for the mixer brush and I change it to M. So when I press M, I get the mixer brush. So with the mixer brush selected, ensure that your wet is at 2% and everything else remains the same. So let's start working on the model's face. So, All right, so first thing I'm going to do is to get my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to blend the skin. And also flatten it. So all I'm doing is just blending. So if you have a bug under the eye, you can blend it um, as well. It flattens the area, so it no longer has a, it don't, it no longer has a bug. All right. So I'm just going to do under the model's lip. Remember, when you have a highlighted area, try to do the highlighted area separated from the uh, shadow or the shadowed area. If you try to mix them, you're going to have problems. So all I'm doing is just mixing. Just to flatten the image. If you have pimples on the skin or any blemishes, it normally flattens it. And it's easier for you to remove uh, when you're using the patch tool or if you're using the um, clone stamp tool. I love using both. I'm just going to come to the nose bridge and do the same thing. If you ever uh if you ever select the mixer brush like for the first time and you realize that there's a color right here, you can just click this little button right here, this little brush, and it will clear it. Or you can just click the horror right here and click the clear brush right here. Alright. Alright, that looks good. Alright, let's look at the before and after of what I've done so far. So, that's the before. That's the after. So, it basically flattens the image. And it also retains the uh, texture in the model's skin. So, it does not look blurred out or anything like that. So, now that I'm finished with uh, flattening the face or brushing the face with using the mixer brush or mixing the face, I'm going to go to the high frequency layer here and press S on the keyboard for the clone sound tool. Get it smaller by using the right bracket, well the left bracket on the keyboard. 
then I'm going to sample a clean area by holding an alt and then sample just click on the clean area and then click on the area you'd like to remove so that's all I'm doing just ensure that wherever you're sampling from is clean and you just sample close to where the pimple is and also keep your brush as small as the pimple or the blemish that you're removing and you have to be mindful of the color as well if you're if you're sampling from a dark area to paint on a bright area um, that's not a good um, idea you have to ensure that the area where you're sampling from and where you're going to clone is the same color or same highlight or yeah so all I'm doing right now is just remove the blemishes from the model's skin it's gonna come down here alright so if you notice like there's a like a ghosting on my screen like this the reason for that is because I turn off the um, the processing for the video card because for some reason I'm not sure if it's because my processor is not cooling um, fast enough it takes a long time to do what I ask it to do <laughs> you know when I make a command it, it doesn't do it um, for some reason so it takes a long time to load so because I don't want that to happen in the video I took it off so it's not looking like how it should look when you're when I'm scrolling alright so I'm done with uh, removing the pimples on the model's face what I'm gonna do now is to go down to the neck but I'm gonna go back down to the low layer and then press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush Remember, that's the shocker that I use for my mixer brush. The mixer brush is normally nested under brushes. And I'm just going to flatten the neck. I notice that anytime I apply the frequency separation on the image as is, before I brighten up the image, it gives me a better result. So that's the reason why I'm, I'm, doing, this, I'm doing it like this. In the past, I normally brighten the image first and then do the... Um, frequency separation after but over over time I noticed that it's better to do it as is so I'm going to do the arm now so see, wait I need to undo this because I'm still on the cone some too so I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer here and then M for the mixer brush So all I'm doing is brushing. So you want your image to look as natural as possible and that's what I'm trying to do with all my images. So this is the reason why I use, um, well, the skin to look as natural as possible. So what I try to do is to always use the mixer brush. For the veins, I'm going to press J for the clone stamp for the patch tool. With it still selected, I'm going to go to the high. Let's remove some of the veins from our hand. This one as well. I might just leave this one, should I? No, I'm just going to remove it. Alright, that looks good. It looks natural. Alright, so I'm going to come up here, remove these things here. Not sure what they are. Alright. Then I'm going to go back down to the low frequency layer. Then press B on the keyboard. Well, not B, M. Or just come over here to the mixer brush. And then I'm just going to mix the arm. Just try to flatten out everything. I'm going to come back up to the high frequency layer. Press S on the keyboard for the clone stamp. Undo. Undo again. Get my stamp a little bit smaller. Alright, so this is moving too fast for some reason. S, sample, remove. 
all right i'm gonna come down here this time i'm gonna use i'm gonna press j for the patch tool if you press j on the keyboard for if you press j on the keyboard if you never used the patch tool before you're not going to see the patch tool you're going to see the healing brush yeah so what you could do is to hold on on, on shift and then press j until you see the patch tool all right and you can do the same thing as well to find the mixer brush all right i'm going to do the same thing here go to the low layer press m for the mixer brush get my brush bigger and just mix get everything in one that looks good I'm gonna come down here and do the same thing so i'm doing it in a vertical manner or vertical direction <laughs> Uh, Shaded area here. Good. Let's look at the before and after for just this. Before, after. Good. So I am done with the mixing. So what I'm going to do is to brighten my image. So to do that, I'm going to um, create a new layer. Control Shift Alt E to create a new layer. Then I'm going to Control J. And then we're going to go to Camera Raw by going to Filter camera raw and the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm in camera raw is to click auto and auto brightens the image a little bit I'm gonna go to what's this shadow the shadows and just pulling it a little bit more then I'm gonna go to temperature and just bring the white balance down it was kind of too brown not brown yellow yeah that should be good enough then i'm going to all right then i'm going to go to um what's this called hsl adjustments i'm going to be under hue and now i'm going to do some color grading so uh the background is green i love what the background looks like but i'm going to change it up a little bit so i'm going to play with the yellow all right so the yellow is affecting her here i don't want it to affect her here right now so i'm just going to work in the green I could go green and I could go like a earth tone I'm gonna put it right there and then I'm gonna come here to the edge uh, to the uh, what's this called again the saturation and I'm gonna play with the green again all right it's a little bit warm hmm I'm going to play with her skin a little bit. So I'm just going to take off some of the orange. That should be good. And then I'm going to go back over here. I want to play with the background a little bit more. But if I try to do any adjustment, it's going to um, get in her here. So what I could actually do, I've always seen this brush option here. I'm just going to click it. Then I'm going to, actually, I don't have the HSL option here. So I wouldn't be able to use the brush. All right, that's fine. Well, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to create a new layer and make the adjustment I want to make to the yellow. And then I'm just going to mask out her here. So I created a new layer just now. And then I'm going to control. Well, I'm not going to use a shortcut. I'm just going to come here back to camera raw. And then I'm going to go. You know what? I'm going to create auto again and see what it looks like. Okay, auto brightens the image a little bit more. I like that. So I'm going to go back to the HSL option here. I'm going to play under hue. I'm going to play with the yellow some more. So that is good enough for me. Then I'm going to come to the basic tab. And then I'm going to bring up some of the, um, what's this called again? Uh, Dehaze. All right, there should be good. I'm going to bring out some of the shadows. Then highlights down like that. Good then i'm going to press ok and now that i made some adjustments i'm going to now do a mask so i'm going to hold on on alt and click the mask tool and then i'm just going to paint in what i need basically so i'm going to click the brush my brush at 100 percent and i'm just going to paint it in what you could do you could do it the other way around where you could just um uh delete the adjustments from our skin 
seeing that when I went to um so just a little part of her hair is gonna be is gonna have that um yellow look to it. So it's a much it's, it's it's better if you just um delete the color from her skin or from the hair or wherever instead of doing the entire background. I think it is easier. <laughs> I think I can I think I can put some yellow in her hair though. It looks rich. Alright, good. So I'm gonna go back to the um I'm gonna create a new layer again. And then I'm gonna go back to camera raw, make some more adjustments. I'm gonna press auto again. Alright, I'm gonna make that adjustment, okay, then go back to camera raw again. The shortcut for camera is Control Shift A, and then I'm gonna bring out some shadows again, just to brighten up the image a little bit more. Then I'm gonna play with the hair, so her hair. I'm gonna put some clarity in it, and then some texture, just a little. Then OK. Then I'm going to do a mask again hold on an alt and then um press the mask the mask button i'm gonna zoom up i'm still on the brush at 100 percent for the opacity i'm just gonna brush the hair let me apply some of this to the shirt to the blows and see what it looks like it doesn't really look uh, different <laughs> All right, so that is that for that portion. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a new, I'm going to create a dodge and burn layer. So I'm going to come here to the dodge. And the dodge is basically working on the highlighted area. I'm still on the brush, and I'm going to go to 1% for the brush. I'm just going to do the highlighted area at 1%. Just highlighting it so it, it just pop a little bit, you know. So I'm going to do the nose bridge, do a little part of the forehead and also the cheek and under the eye, then the chin. Then I'm going to go to the dodge layer, not the dodge burn. I'm going to do the side of the cheek, still at 1% for the flow. I'm just going to do right there. Actually, the side of the nose bridge, I meant. <laughs> then I'm going to do the neck. Don't think I need to do anything else. That looks good. But I want to blend the skin a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is to create a new... I'm going to put everything in a group. So click the first... Um, the first... Uh, what they call this? Wait a minute. It doesn't seem as if any. Oh, oh, it was working. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to click the first um, layer at the top here, then go down to the last one where the freaking separation is, then Control G to create a group. I'm going to name this group Done. Seeing that I'm through with all the files that are there. And then I'm going to create a new frequency layer. So I'm going to click on the background layer, click on frequency separation. All right, then I'm going to click on the frequency separation tab, then control shift right bracket to bring it to the top. And then I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer right here and then M on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to mix just to flatten or just to even out the skin a little bit more. All right, that looks good. Ah, that looks good. Let me see under the neck here. All right, good. So the next step now is to apply the color, additional color grading to it. So I'm going to come here to where it says um, color lookup and you can download 
this as well. Once you download the action from my from my website, you will have all these actions in there. All right, so I'm going to um, put this at 20%, the opacity at 20% for this layer. And then I'm going to add 5% of blue to the image. So that's before, after. So let's look at before and after for everything now. I'm going to create a new layer. Duplicate this. Then I'm going to go to windows arrange then up vertical so that's the before and that's the after so thank you guys for watching this video if you learned anything from the video give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos uh, I think I have a behind the scene coming next week um, stay tuned for that and if there's anything that you want me to do guys just tell me in the um, comment section and I will definitely do it um, yeah and look out for uh, well one of my videos I'm gonna tell you when I'm doing the series again where I edit your image so stay tuned for that as well thank you guys for watching and have a good one bye bye